Kurt here with Teach Mom How. I recently had an issue on my phone that was driving me crazy. And I figured that if I had the issue, there were probably other people that had the issue. And for that reason, I'm making this video for you. Here's the issue. Have you ever had this happen? You go to find a contact in your phone and you can't find it. And it drives you crazy because you swear you had that contact in there. In fact, sometimes you can even go to your text messages and you can see that you had that contact in there. But when you search the contacts to try to call that person or text that person, they're nowhere to be found. It was driving me crazy. There were even times where I would literally put in a contact, put their number in, hit save, then search the contact, and I couldn't find it. If any of these things have happened to you on your iPhone, I'm excited to tell you that there's an easy fix, and I'm going to show you that now. Let's get started. Okay, as always on Teach Mom How, I break this up into sections. That's so that you can go to the part that you want to learn. I recommend though that you watch the entire video so that you don't miss anything. And then if you need to go back, go down into the description and click on the chapter or the section that you want to review. So here's what I recently discovered and why these contacts had disappeared and weren't showing up on my iPhone, even though I knew I had put them in the phone and I had even called and texted these people. If you go to the contacts app on your iPhone and then you click on groups, you may have multiple groups, but you'll at least have whatever accounts you've linked with your phone. So I have three or four accounts already linked with my phone. If any of these are unselected, you might have contacts that were saved to those accounts that are no longer showing up. So if I now select these and click done, that contact I was searching earlier, my friend, will now show up in my contacts. And that's because that particular contact had been saved to my Gmail account. So when Gmail was not selected as part of the groups and I searched my friend, it disappeared. But when I toggle Gmail back on and search my friend, the contact shows back up. So how do you keep this from happening? Most likely you have multiple accounts linked to your phone. You probably have a Gmail, you probably have other email, and you for sure have an iCloud. You need to make sure that the contacts that you are putting into your phone are saved to your iCloud. If they're saved to your iCloud, you'll always have them, and you can instantly download them to a new phone when you get one by linking them with the same iCloud account. So you should always save your contacts to your iCloud account, not to Gmail or any other account. Here's how you ensure that you always save your contacts to your iCloud account so that they never disappear. You have to go into your settings app. In your settings app, you need to scroll down and you need to find contacts. Under contacts, you'll see default account towards the bottom. You click on default account. Mine is set to Gmail. So what was happening for me is all my recent contacts, I was putting them in as a Gmail contact, but I didn't have Gmail selected as one of my accounts when I was in contacts. So now I'm going to change it to iCloud as the default. And what that means is now anytime I save a new contact, it will automatically go to iCloud and show up on my phone no matter what, and I can resync it if I ever get a new phone. Now if I come back to contacts and I go into groups and I turn off all of the other accounts besides iCloud, when I add a new contact, This time, this contact will automatically show up when I search for it because this contact was saved as an iCloud contact. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to go back in and change what account your contacts belong to. They are always and forever set to whatever account you had it set to at the time you added the contact to your phone. So if you have any contacts that are showing up as a Gmail contact, you either have to always have Gmail selected or if you don't want to always have Gmail contacts showing up on your phone, maybe you have too many contacts that show up by doing that, then you'll need to delete the contact and re-enter it as an iCloud contact now that you've set that as your default. That's it. It's that simple. I was so frustrated that it took me so long to realize that. Hopefully this helps and saves you some headache. If this resolved your issue, please leave a comment and let me know that. If it did not resolve your issue, please ask clarifying questions and I'll make additional videos to help you out. Again, it's been Kurt with Teach Mom How. You can learn anything, so pick something to learn right now. You can learn how to run, you can learn how to edit videos, 
or you can learn more iPhone tips and tricks. You choose, but let's go learn.